Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and uh, welcome to another video. This is a tribute video to one of the greatest and the leading one, leading lady of all Star Wars movies, the late great Carrie Fisher, who just passed away today. I found out on my phone. My mom texted me, and I was just wow. That that just still it gets me. You know, this woman was everything to me when it came to Star Wars. You know. She had a lot of problems and couldn't deal with the fame and, you know, just the, the pills and the, and the you know, her bipolar disorder and the drinking just, man, it ruined her life. And, well, at least I have a lot of great memories of her and I have my toys right here. Carrie, I miss you. I am so sad to see you go. I, I wish this had not happened. I wish that I could go back in time and start, save you from, you know, dying. But, you know, life and death is out of my hands. But... I will always remember you. You will be remembered forever. I will never forget you ever. You were such a huge part of my life. You know, I love I love all the three Star Wars films and the original trilogy. And her yes, her brief appearance in Force Awakens is one of the shining spots of that movie because I missed her. And if that's the last time I saw her, hey, at least she went out in in the successful banter and. She was memorable in that, despite being on screen for a short time. But these are my toys of Leia. You know, I'm going to keep them forever because, you know, she I miss her. Got the original trilogy here. There's a picture of her when she was 19. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Wonderful. Just, you know, she made a lot of people happy just with every single movie that she did. Even if she was on screen for five seconds, you could tell that she was just, she was, you know, Hollywood royalty. You know, her, 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 uh. She was the mother of, uh, she's the mother of Debbie Reynolds, who is still around. I'm glad, and also the girl from Screen Queens, um, Billy Lord, who plays uh, Chanel Number no. Three that wears the earmuffs. She was also in The Force Awakens. There's her picture. I love that face. That face. Nobody else in these new Star Wars movies will ever, ever compare to Carrie Fisher. I. Love this woman. She was the best at what she did. She was a good actress. She never gave a horrible performance. And, you know, she meant a lot to a lot of people. It wasn't just the character. It was her as a person. People just love seeing her on screen. And there's her picture in Return of the Jedi in the slave outfit. Sexiest outfit in the history of Star Wars. And, you know, I hate to say it, but Hobo with a stick is never going to make me care compared to the way Carrie did. Just... Fantastic! Just I, I, I miss her. I, the, the fact that she just passed away is just like we already lost Kenny Baker, and that was already sad. And now this happened. Do I have any more toys with her? Um, I'm trying to look. Um, no, I don't have those. But I do have this book. This wonderful Magic of the Myth book. I want to show you some pictures of her. Here's one. From Return of the, from Empire Strikes Back, where she's looking at Vader, just you know, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm at a loss for words, but I want to do this for her because she deserves it. I loved her. There's a po poster on, on one the greatest poster in the industry of cinema from the original Star Wars. There's a picture of George Lucas. Lucas, thank you. Thank you for casting her as Princess Leia. You owe the world a the the world owes you a favor because you casted the best possible actress to play her, and I will always thank you for that, George Lucas. Always. That's Mark Hamill. Here's her with R two D two, the original BB eight. The best robot in the history of cinema. And there's that's the first time you see her putting the Death Star plans before they made that shitty Rogue One movie, which I know I don't even care about it now. Seeing it is just gonna depress me even more. Because Carrie Fisher's not in it. It's some other actress playing Princess Leia, and this is not for me. It's the originals that mean matter to me the most. There's a that's a great picture. That is a picture I want to hang on my wall for the rest of my life. I love you, Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace. You live to be 60 years old. Some people don't even make it to half that. And uh, just, you know, you were the original sci-fi badass of all time. This is a great one. Look at that. 
with Darth Vader, the original David Prowse Darth Vader, voiced by James Earl Jones. And there's, of course, this classic three picture, which uh, was one of the best promotion photos ever in the history of cinema. And I'm not just saying that because she was in Star Wars. She could have been in anything. I, there's a lot of movies that she's done that I want to go back and watch now and also watch for the first time. No matter how how long her screen appearance is, no matter what movie, I will watch it. I'm not going to watch Force Awakens again. I'll just see her scenes, but that is it. You know, her images are the only thing that matter. This is when she gave them the medals. Yeah. It's wonderful. Just, I love that face. You know, her and Natalie Portman were the two best actresses in the history of Star Wars. Well, that doesn't have her. Here's one that's kind of bright. That's her with... Uh, Harrison Ford in the when they're in the inside of the uh, that worm, um, yeah, that giant space worm. I forgot what it was called. This is when they kissed. The OG. Without this, we would have never had Kylo Ren. Right there, just to just to say it. And there's a another picture of the romance right there from a black and white uh, painting. It's a beautiful book, by the way. I always wanted to show this on to, you know, you guys, um, because, you know, there's her with Chewie and Lando. I bet Billy D. Williams is sad because he worked a lot. He had a lot of screen time with her. He even kissed her hand. This is when he kissed her hand. And this is when they were walking in Cloud City and Bespin. Love it. These are memories, man. Every single moment in these films is a memory. There's her in, in the, in the carpet night chamber when before Han is about to... Get frozen. She says, I love you. And I know I say the same thing, Carrie. I love you. I always loved you in these films. Even when they got re-released, it was great to see you. I don't care how fat you got. It was you. You were still the knockout from back in the 1970s and the 80s. And I will always remember you for that. Thank you for giving us three iconic movies. And thank you for acting past Star Wars. And you even made up an appearance in Episode 7. One of the highlights of that movie Definitely, because, you know, you will never be replaced, ever, no matter in my heart or in the hearts of all Star Wars fans. This is her from uh, from Return of the Jedi, when she's in the Bausch outfit. It's her with Han. Yeah. That's her slave outfit. Ugh. And that's, of course, her with Luke, the bigger picture of the one from that I showed you earlier, swinging, you know, best brother and sister in cinema history. Definitely her and Luke when they're talking, you know, that he feels Vader's presence. See, I remember all of this because I love this. This, this is everything to me. This is my cinematic life. This is her and when they, she's in Endor with her beautiful long locks, just, you know, I'm I'm just speechless because you know I thought she would live to be like 90, but you know savor every moment, guys. Don't sweat the small stuff because you know you never know when your life is gonna be over. That's why I want to make sure I enjoy most of 2017 if I get there. I do this tribute because I loved her, and she was the only, she was the best female ever in the history of Star Wars. There's a lot of feet, strong female characters, but she was the OG and will never be forgotten and will stand the test of time. A hundred years from now, she'll still be remembered for that role, not whoever the hell's playing her in Rogue One and beyond that. There's only one. Yeah, I already showed that picture. That was Mon Mothma. Um, And there's one, you know, and I think this is an empire, I believe, yeah. And there, or no, this is in the original, when uh, Luke is about to fight the Death Star, you know, before uh, any of the prequels and everything. And, you know, this is just amazing. I love this book. It's a lot of memories. I remember going to that uh, museum and seeing those awesome, beautiful uh, um, Star Wars displays. And that's about it. But Carrie Fisher, we miss you. Every Star Wars fan of the original trilogy will never forget you. 
I love you. I know you're in a better place. You're not suffering anymore, and you are one with the Force now. May the Force always be with you, wherever you are. I love you. Rest in peace, Gary Fisher. I don't even know what else to say, but uh, let me take my hat off. I have to just give her a moment of silence. Okay, that was good. I needed to relieve myself, but thank you. Thank you, Carrie Fisher. Thank you for giving us this. Thank you. Thank you for giving us three amazing movies. The classic trilogy. The trilogy that will live forever. Thank you for giving us over three decades of entertainment. Over four decades of entertainment. Thank you for making Debbie Reynolds. Thank you for bringing Billy Lord into our lives. Thanks for showing up in episode 7, living to give us one more glance at that wonderful face of yours. Thank you. Oh, man, I needed to get that off my chest. I, I get emotional. You know, I loved Carrie Fisher. This was uh, Kenny Baker. He was old and, you know, it was his time. But with her, we could have had more. And But let me give her one more salute. Thanks, Kenny Baker. Thank you, Carrie Fisher. You will never be forgotten. Thanks for so many years of your life that you dedicated to entertaining fans. <sighs> well, I'm glad I did this. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Never forget Carrie Fisher because she did so much for us. Through all the problems, she was always there for us. And I will never, ever take you for granted. I'm going to see all your movies all the way through, the ones that I haven't seen. And just remember what a wonderful lady you were. You were the, the, the first lady of space. And thank you for everything, Carrie Fisher. Thank you. I don't know how many more times I can say that, but... May the force be with you all, guys. I am going to just, you know, watch some YouTube. I need to get some laughs. I'm going to watch in my new Star Wars, Guardians of the Galaxy, and, and, you know, so I can get some laughs because I need it. And I need to move forward. You know, now that she passed away, all our, our Star Wars fans need to do tributes, remember what a wonderful lady she was, and move on to the next year in 2017. And in 2017, when Star Wars is 40 years old, I'm going to do a toast for her and Kenny Baker. So stay tuned for that later, guys.